What's up, boys family? Welcome back to my channel, Tia Topics. I'm Tia, and today's topic is the importance of practicing imperfection. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome black. Welcome black. Welcome back. I'm glad to have you here. Now, let's jump into the topic. I really wanted to talk about this topic because this is something that I struggle with a lot. Like, a lot. Like, a lot. Like, not as much as I used to, but I still do struggle with it a lot. And I am working on trying not to make everything so perfect, whatever that means. I used to struggle with it a lot in the past, and it did nothing for me at all. Like, it actually just hindered me and made me not succeed at almost anything that I really, really, really wanted to continue to do. The point that I really want to get across is that it's okay if something does not go exactly as you want it to go. Sometimes it might even come out even better than how you expect it to because of that one imperfection. Did I use that right? I don't know. But it is important that you do not try to make everything perfect because this is life and in reality life is not perfect nor will it ever be perfect and honestly perfection is subjective so let me not say it will never be perfect because even if other people might say oh your life is not perfect you could be like well it's perfect for me as this video goes on i'm gonna be using myself as an example because i struggle with trying to make things perfect and if they're not perfect i have a tendency to want to stop and that is not okay because just because something is not going exactly how i planned it to happen does not mean that it does not have to happen and i would just stop like i would make sh i would want everything to be so perfect that I never really get started and that's the issue with trying to be perfect when you're doing something it's really hindering you to even start because you're thinking about all of the ways that it's supposed to be like this and da -da -da -da. you're making it way too complicated by trying to make it perfect just try it you can never be good at something unless you try it and you can never try something unless you try to stop being so perfect at it just get it done and then change things along the way after you shouldn't let perfection stop you i want to talk about for example my morning routine i am so big on morning routines i love having a good morning routine it just makes the day go by fast and nice and i'm happy when i like have a morning routine and the most important thing for me is to have a slow morning like i love slow mornings i don't like to rush i don't really like to rush doing anything but especially in the morning time i do not like to rush i feel like that time for yourself is so important it's so crucial for your mental health and for you to have a really good day and a productive day at that my past morning routine when i would try to get back in the groove of getting things focused and in order because i had a tendency to fall off a lot but 2023 me not doing that what i used to do was i used to wake up i would do about a 20 minute yoga routine a 10 minute workout routine focusing on any specific part of my body so one day i would do like legs the next day i would do whatever that doesn't even matter the point is after the 20 minute yoga the 10 minute workout what i would want to do is meditate for 10 minutes because i'm big on meditation i would try to set everything up to the t like planning the exact time the exact location and don't get me wrong those things are great and they're very helpful but at the same time i would be able to do that only for maybe three weeks a month and a half tops like me saying a month and a half might even be pushing it. I think I only really did it like a month straight. But during that month, you know, I felt really great doing this morning routine and staying consistent in the morning routine. But then something, the slightest of inconvenience would happen one day and I would not do it that day. And then since I broke that cycle, I wouldn't go back and do it again. And I feel like it's because I made it too complicated. Like there was too many steps. So once I broke out of that habit, it was just too much of an effort to go back into it and that's just because i was trying to make it perfect that made no sense like it made no sense so i'm like why do i keep going through this pattern of starting this routine and then not finishing it or not continuing to do it even though it made me feel so great for so long i figured it out i was trying to make it too like it was it was too much it was too many steps it was like too perfect if the most important thing to me was the meditation why am i waiting for it to be the last thing i made it too complicated 
what I realized in the end was that I would wake up and I would feel like I did not want to do it. I, it was like me dragging myself out of the bed. And I took that up to me being tired from the day before or me just being lazy or me just wanting to sleep more because I love sleep. <laughs> like that's what I choked it up to be. But I feel like it really was because I made it too perfect. I tried to do it in a way that it was it did it didn't work. And when I say perfect, I mean like when you see people working out, you see them meditating, they got the mat, they're in a quiet little dark area, all the lights is off, there's a candle and there's birds chirping in the back because it's like morning and the sun is coming up or whatever. And that's what I was trying to do. I was I was trying to do that and it was just like it was nice. It was nice. Don't get me wrong, it was nice. But it was a lot and it was not realistic for me to keep up with for a long period of time. So now what it is that I do when I get up in the morning, I just go straight into the meditation. I'll go sit on the couch, wrap myself up in a blanket and sit there and meditate. And then I realize like I can do this more often and more frequently and for a longer stretch of time because it's so simple. The point is now that I made it more simple and I stopped trying to be perfect with the meditation, I felt more motivated to get out of the bed. Like that's how much of an effect of me just changing the perfection in that routine of getting the yoga mat and going out at, at the same time and whatever, whatever. But like I said, it was great, but it was not realistic and it did not stay. So try practicing imperfection. Like I promise you, you're going to still be happy at the end of it because really what's the most important part is like actually just getting the thing done. And you're going to like that still gives you the dopamine hit you looking for like accomplishing that goal just because it didn't happen the perfect way. Like it doesn't that really doesn't matter. There are some tasks that call for perfection, but does it really have to be perfect or should you just be trying your best? I feel like you should just be trying your best because whenever you go into something, you should be trying your best. But if it's not perfect, if the circumstances is not perfect, just go with it. And that is the beauty of practicing imperfection. Just go with it. Like, go with it. See where it goes. If it's really not working, okay, stop. But if it's okay, if it's not just like what you wanted, that's fine. You're going to be okay and you're going to be happy. You're going to you're still going to be happy. You're going to be happy because you actually accomplished it. You're going to be happy because you finished it. So just finish it. Don't let it get in your way and practice imperfection because it's more important that you got the thing done rather than you getting it done perfectly. In most instances, not all of them, but most. That's really all I wanted to say today. Comment down below if you yourself are a perfectionist. If you yourself are trying to get out of that habit of being a perfectionist, comment down some strategies that you might have. Because like I said, I'm still struggling with that. I do like to try to make things perfect. And then just don't be working. So comment down below what it is that you do. Because we're here to help each other. We're here to help each other grow. We're here to help each other succeed in the things that we wanted to want to succeed in. We're here to help each other not get stuck at a roadblock that shouldn't even really be a roadblock you know some things are roadblocks and some things aren't and you're just making an excuse for yourself so we're here to get out of that we're here to practice imperfection we're here to get things done we're here to check things off this year we're here to work together we're here to be a community that is safe and we're here to be a community that is helpful to one another so comment down below help me out i hope you gain some type of value from anything that i just said and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Later, y'all.